Okay. Come again. And thanks a lot. Can you believe they gave us four tickets to the sold out Famous Trucks of All Time exhibit at the museum? All those great trucks in one place. It just goes to show how much he appreciated our service. I can't wait to hear all those amazing trucks tell their stories. Well, when I was a youngin, I used to work at a place that we called a truck stop. And I had to actually use my wipers to clean my own windshield. Wow. I wonder if there will be old racing trucks at the museum. Probably. Let's see. I'm going to take Holly as my date, and there's a ticket for you. That leaves an extra ticket. How about you invite one of your friends? Tower and Pickup! That would be awesome! I'll go do it now! <laughs> Guys, guess what? I'm going to the Famous Trucks of All Time exhibit at the museum. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> Who wants to come with me? I want to go! Oh, me, me, me! That'd be so great! Oops. Uh, I just remembered. I only have one ticket. Hmm. I like famous trucks. I really like famous trucks. I really like you, Chuck. I can tell this isn't going to be an easy choice. Want to play truck tag with us? You know how good you are at it. The best. Well, uh, well... You tagged me. Good job, Chuck. Sorry, guys. I can't play. I have to go back and help my dad. Oh, I hope he picks me. No, no, me. Oh, I'd do anything to go. Thanks, son. Only 20 more barrels to stack. 20? It feels like we've already stacked 20 Kirsch million. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a real number, Chuck. However many barrels there are, they're no problem if I'm lending you a hand. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Andy. Yeah, that was a big help. Oh, I was nothing. Hey, Chuck, do you know who you're taking to the museum yet? Because I bet it's going to be great. I haven't picked yet, but I'll let you know when I do. I'll find that tire, Dad. <gasps> Whoa, sorry, Rowdy. No, 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 I'm sorry. I should have honked sooner. I wouldn't want to hurt my BFT. Best friend truck? Wow, that's really nice of you, Rowdy. Oh, no problem. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, did you um decide which of your best friend trucks you're taking to the museum? I haven't even had a chance to think about it. I was helping my dad, and the tire fell out of my bed. I have to find it. H hang on! Uh, maybe one of these is the one you want. If not, I, I can go find some more for you. Uh, no. Thanks, Rowdy. These will be great. Wow, Chuck. Are you even faster than usual today? I don't think so, Boomer. But thanks. Because I've never seen you this fast. You're like one of those famous racing trucks of the past. Oh, speaking of that, have you decided what you're going to do with that museum ticket? Huh? I haven't really... Whoa! Thanks, Boomer. That was a close call. You really saved me. That's what friends are for, Chuck. I couldn't let you fall. Then you might not be able to go to the museum. Right. With whoever you pick to go with you. Chuck, could you please deliver these to the proving grounds? Chuck? Chuck? Huh? I'm starting to think you've got a clog in your intake valves, kiddo. Sorry, Dad. I just can't decide who to bring to the museum. They've all been so cool and nice to me. I wish I could get some more tickets, but the program has been sold out for months. Chuck! There you are! Look! Your favorite hubcap? I remember when you found it. Don't you only bring that out for special occasions? Yep. You want to borrow it? Are you serious? You've never even let anyone else touch it. 
Oh, you're not just anyone else, Chuck. Keep it as long as you like. Wow. Chuck, you still need to deliver those boxes. Right, Dad. Well, Rowdy, I guess I'll have to wait to play with that hubcap. Don't worry. I'll do your work while you play. Really? Really. Thanks, Rowdy. You're the best. Oh, Rowdy gave Chuck his favorite hubcap. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Boomer. Look what Rowdy gave me. He's never let anyone else play with it before. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, hey, want to play Outer Space Trucks? That's one of your favorite games, right? I'll be the alien truck. But I thought you hated that game, Boomer. Nah, it's okay. As long as I'm playing with my best bud. And maybe if you take me to the museum, then we might see some real space explorer trucks. Chuck! How did you get so dirty? I'll have you shining in no time. Isn't that better? Yeah, I guess. Handy, Chuck and I were just about to start playing. Chuck needs to be in tip-top condition when he goes to the museum to see that exhibit, for which he has that extra ticket. You're being nice to Chuck just to get the extra ticket. But what about you? I saw you playing alien truck. You're trying to get that extra ticket too. Oh. And today you just happened to decide to share your favorite hubcap? You want that ticket as bad as we do. Who are you taking? Who are you taking? Who are you taking? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Chuck, pick me. I've known Chuck long. I don't even like famous Chuck. I've got I've more knowledge about all what of he, he calls me. He doesn't even have your number. Guys, stop. Good night, Mr. Machine. Hmm. Why the Great Grill, Chuck? My friends all want to go to the museum. They've all been so nice. I can't decide who gets the extra ticket. You should sleep on it. Give yourself a little time to relax. Maybe you'll have an answer in the morning. Suffering spark plugs. I sure hope so. You will, son. Good night. Good, Good night, night, Chuck. Chuck. Just a dream. But at least now I know what to do. Mom, Dad, I've decided what to do with the extra ticket. See? I told you things would be clear in the morning. But Chuck, who are you inviting, Chuck? I want to take all of you. And since I can't, I'm giving the extra ticket to... to you guys. And you can have my ticket too. Oh! <gasps> if I make one of my friends happy, I'm gonna make two of my friends unhappy, and that's gonna make me unhappy. So mom, dad, you invite two of your friends. But watch out, it's really hard to choose. Oh, uh, come on, Chuck, you should go. Yeah, forget about us. Well, one of us should get to go, and it should be you. What a wonderful thing you're doing, honey. You would rather give up your own ticket than have to choose between your friends. And you boys don't want Chuck to miss out. You are very good friends. Chuck, we're giving you our tickets. That way you and all your friends can go to the museum. But what about you? As it turns out, we checked with the museum this morning and found out that more tickets went on sale. <gasps> so now we'll get two extra tickets and take all of you to the exhibit. Woohoo! Famous trucks of all time, here we come! I can't believe we're all here at the museum together! We'll have a great time, but when we get back, we'll have to catch up on work. Work? No problem. My friends love helping me out. Right, guys? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Watch 
we do it yeah any day any time you know i'm up to it i got what it takes to come through cause there's nothing i can't do gonna make all my dreams come true cause there's nothing i can't do to my little brother, Chuck. <gasps> I'll tell you, winning the Big Time 500 is a big achievement. It's like climbing the highest mountain and finally reaching the peak. Maybe you can, but you need to work hard and practice like Rally. I'll practice every day, Dad. But right now, I'm going to tell my friends the great news. Yahoo! And then Rally slid into the inside lane. Run! And then slid to the outside and run! won the race. Rowdy, I was afraid he wouldn't find me in there. <laughs> ah, Chuck, you know I can find anything anywhere. So what did Rally get for winning the race? That's the best part. He got a huge, shiny trophy. <laughs> you could fit inside of it, Rowdy. <gasps> really? It sure would be great to win a trophy. I'd never won anything before. We're still pequeño, still small, Rowdy. Someday, we'll have a chance to win a trophy like Rally. I wish we didn't have to wait. Maybe we don't have to. Power and pickups. How about we build our own trophy? <laughs> Great idea. Let's do it. Everybody, I have the perfect spot for it in the diner. What? But I was thinking I could bring it back to my house. No, no, I have the perfect place for it in my room. Me too. But there's only one trophy. Who gets to keep it? Well, they give trophies to the one who's the best. Like Rally was the best racer when he won the Big Time 500. We could have a race too. The winner gets the trophy. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah! Okay, partners. Mark, get set, go! Thanks, Rowdy. Well, since I'm the best, it looks like I get to take home the trophy. <sighs> Un momento, Chuck. You were the best on the paved track. But what about other kinds of races? After all, I was built to roll over bumpy stuff. I say we race again, this time around the hills of the parts yard. But, but... It's only fair, Chuck. <sighs> to the parts yard. On your mark. Get set. Vamos! I can't get control of. Ow! My steering wheel! Whoa! I'm about yet! Fall oh, over! Oh, oh, oh. Look, look, look out! Uh oh! Clean up on aisle five! Hasta la vista! <laughs> Yay! 
trophy. <sighs> Not so fast. You want to race, and I want to race. We're even. And actually, neither of those races were fair. I'm plenty fast, but with my tires, I'm better at going around and under and over things. There were no obstacles in those races. Fine. One more race. We'll build an obstacle course on the dirt track. Let's go. <sighs> Finished. <sighs> Get yourself set and wahoo! Yeah. I guess I'm the best, y'all. I'm coming! I'll be right there! Uh. Hey, guys! But we all won a race. My race was the real race. I think mine was. Guys, we all won the race we were good at. To find out who's best, we need to have one more race. One that has obstacles, bumps, and paved track. Right, Rowdy? Uh, Rowdy? Over here! Thanks, guys. I guess I'm just not very good at obstacles either. That's okay. We're still going to have one more race to find out once and for all who's the best. I don't know, Chuck. I didn't win any of the other races. In fact, I came in last every one. You can't give up, Rowdy. My dad says the only way to get good is to work hard and practice. I do work hard, and I practice a lot, but I'm no good at obstacles, no good at speed. You guys run the last race. I'll just watch. No, come on, Rowdy. It's more fun if you race, too. Yeah, it's not the same without you, Rowdy. Yeah, totally. Totally. You gotta race. No, that's okay. I'll see you when you're done. Well, if you're sure. Okay, guys. Let's set up the course. One lap around the proving grounds. One lap around the obstacle at the dirt track. And then a final lap around the parts yard where the best racer gets the trophy. On, On your mark, you say go! go. gets to keep it, I guess. You know, maybe we care too much about that trophy. What do you mean, Chuck? Well, I wanted to be the best so badly that I cut you off, Digger. Biggs, I drove past you when you needed help. That's not how a friend acts. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we all did some things that weren't real nice. I bumped into you and Digger because I wanted to beat you all, too. Sorry, fellas. We were so determined to beat each other that we stopped treating our friends, well, like friends. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Rowdy. Look, guys, I guess we proved that nobody is the very best and that all three of us were good at something. Maybe we're better off without the trophy. Here's your trophy, guys. Huh? Rowdy! You found it! You guys deserve it. Each of you is good at racing. <sighs> I wish I was good at something. Rowdy, you are great at something. Me? But I, I lost every race. Yeah, but you found the trophy. No one else could have done what you did, Rowdy. You're the best. I... I am? Da-da-da-da! 
I hereby award this trophy to... Rowdy! For being the best at finding things! Yay! Yay! Oh, oh, shucks, guys! <laughs> I'm honored! You deserve it, Rowdy! Hey, I have an idea! Let's split into teams and play hide-and-seek! As long as I'm on Rowdy's team, he's the best seeker! I was going to be on Rowdy's team! No, me! No, me! I've been working on? The three wheels up wheelie followed by the forward flip spin out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess. Well, I finally rustled up a way to do that varmint. Check me out. <laughs> what do you think, partners? That was pretty great, Biggs. Yeah, nice job. <laughs> So what do we do now, Chuck? Well, I was thinking we could all do my trick. I could teach you in. Yeah, you know what would make that even better? We could try on each other's tires and race and do stunts like Biggs. Trading tires? Oh, yeah. On a scale of one to 10 of awesome, that's a 38. Muy bueno. I've always wondered what it would feel like to be like Handy. But yeah, Digger, I've always wondered the same thing about all of you. Now I can roll over anything, just like this. I can build dirt mounds, just like the ones Digger makes. I can fix it up, just like Handy would. And I can give myself some music to play by, Soku style. Oh, yeah! It's time for some tire changing! Everyone always listens to Chuck's ideas. He says he wonders what it'd be like to be one of us. I wonder what it'd be like to be him. And who says I can't find out? Wahoo! Wait up, partners! I want to try Digger's tires. They'll make me so tall and tough and cool looking. Totally bueno. <laughs> You're already starting to sound like me, amigo. Uh. I'd also kind of like to try Digger's tires. I got some pretty popular wheels. I want to give Chuck's treads a spin. All yours. That way I get to pop on Soku's tires. Because power and pickup. They sure do look cool. And I want to pop on Soku's tires because, um, um, power and pickups. They sure do look cool. Um, okay. Since a couple of us want to try the same tires, we need a fair way to decide who goes first. I know, we'll play Simon Says. Yeah, we'll play Simon Says. Okay guys, you know the rules. If the truck giving out the orders, the truck playing Simon, says, Simon Says, drive in a circle. What do you do? I drive in a circle. That was right, Boomer. But if Simon just says, drive in a circle, what do you do? Nothing. You've got it. If you do it, and Simon didn't say Simon says, before telling you to do it, you're out. Whoever stays in till the end wins and gets first pick of whose tires to wear. Now let's see who gets to be Simon. This is me. Okay, Simon says, back up. Okay, now, Simon says, flash your headlights. Come on, Digger. Make it harder. This is for the big tire switcheroo. Totally. This is for the big tire switcheroo. 
Uh, okay, cool. Well, then, Simon says drive around the pile of tires three times and skid into the cave of parts. Yeah! <laughs> This is turning out to be a pretty sweet day. Okay, back to the game. Jump up and down. <laughs> Simon didn't say. <laughs> you got us, Digger. We're out. Okay, Handy. Okay, Biggs. It's down to us to see who gets first choice in the big tire switch. Yup, it's down to us to see who gets first choice. Keep going, Digger. Okay. Do an extreme wheelie and scale over the wall of car parts with your eyes shut. Uh -huh. Simon didn't say. Guess we're out. Yep, guess we're out. Handy's the winner. Choose your tires, Handy. You're first. Hmm. I'm going to have to take some time to think about this and figure out which tires would look best on me. You know. While we're waiting, we should get some ramps set up for... We should get some ramps set up for stunts when we switch tires. Way cool idea, Biggs. You know, Biggs, it's funny, but I was about to suggest the exact same thing. <laughs> that is funny. It's weird. I feel like we've kind of been doing the same stuff all day. Oh, golly, partner. I reckon that is weird. I'm gonna go help the other fellas with the ramps. After all, it was my idea. Candy. Do you think Biggs is acting strange? How do you mean? I mean, he's doing everything I do and saying everything I say. He's probably just playing some kind of game of his own. I guess he is doing a pretty good job of copying me. There's no reason we can't both have fun with this, right? We couldn't find any good ramps. Huh. Maybe we should just do some laps on we the... We could do some laps on the proving track with our new wheels. <laughs> good one, Biggs. You got me again. Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, Biggs, you've done a pretty good job copying me so far. Before we change tires, let's see how well you can keep up. Hey, hurry up, you guys. We have tires to switch. Okay, Biggs, that was really funny. But let's get back to normal now, okay? I am being normal. You're copying me. I'm not copying you. I just happen to be doing the same stuff you're doing and saying the same stuff you're saying when you do. Biggs, what's going on? I should have done this a long time ago. Being Chuck is great. This is gonna be awesome. Okay. I've decided I'm gonna swap tires with... Here's what we're gonna do. Once we swap tires with another truck, we should all do stuff the other truck does. Okay? Why does Big sound like you? For instance, say I borrow Chuck's tires. I'm gonna race around really fast and duck and dodge all kinds of stuff. Like this. Is Big's okay? He's acting really weird. Did he bump his cab or something? I don't think so, but he's about to. <gasps> Biggs, look out! Biggs, are you okay? Yeah, not that you care. What do you mean? Of course we care. You're our friend. And how come no one ever pays any attention to me? I worked really, really hard on that trick I did this morning, and you fellas barely noticed. But when Chuck had the idea to switch tires, everyone got all excited. And it's not the first time that's happened. We're sorry, Biggs. We didn't know how hard you've been working on that stunt. It really was cool. Chuck's idea just sounded so fun. I guess we got carried away, away from doing your stunt. Is this why you've been acting like me, Biggs? Because you thought that's how you'd get noticed more? Yeah, but I took it too far. I know that now. I'm sorry, partner. And I'm sorry too, Biggs, for not letting you know we like you just the way you are. 
Yeah, if you weren't who you were, you'd be somebody completely different. That made sense, right? Each of us is different stuff, and that's what makes us all such great friends. Sometimes I forget that. If I promise to remember, will you promise to just stay our good pal Biggs? It's a deal. It's a lot easier being me than trying to be you, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've got that worked out, I've decided I want to borrow Biggs' tires first. Then I'll be tall like him. No, I want to borrow Biggs' tires first so I can be tough. But I want to borrow Biggs' tires so I can say all the things Big says. Scoop my scoop and call me Scoopy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a mountain to climb and watch me do it. Yeah. Any day, any time, you know I'm up to it. I got what it takes to come through. Cause there's nothing I can't do. slowly with them. They're the supplies for Doc Bolt's new hospital, Chuck. They're very fragile. Oh. What makes a hospital different from your office, Doc? Well, Chuck, a hospital is a bigger place where lots of trucks can get more care than I could give them at my office. A hospital can handle small problems as well as big, serious jobs like transmission transplants or engine replacements. It sounds like an amazing place. It's a good thing you came to my hospital. Now that we fixed your radiator, all you need is a tune-up and you'll be ready to rev. A little air ought to get you going again. Doc Chuck, you're needed in the emergency garage. I'm right on. Doc Chuck? Uh, I just can't stand to see a sick truck. Okay, Doc. I'll call you next week when the rest of the belts and jacks come in. Thanks a bunch, fellas. I'm going to grow up to be like Doc Bolt. You want to help other trucks? That's very kind, Chuck. I'm going to travel all over, wherever there are sick and broken trucks. And I bet my friends would want to help, too. <laughs> No, Gunter, you don't need a doctor. You can replace your windshield wipers yourself. You'll see, it's gonna be great. We'll make a trailer and load it with supplies for sick trucks. Then when we see them, boom, we can help. Keeping trucks healthy? Count me in. Soku at your service. Where does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it! First, we'll need supplies like Doc Bolt has. Tires, belts, hoses, jacks. That's a lot of stuff. We better start looking. And we'll need something to put all our supplies, uh, uh, uh. Awful? Uh, some? Uh, chew? Uh, uh, chew! I win! Bless you. Thanks, but I was going to say we need something to put our supplies on. What are we waiting for? As un doctor, I can carry sick trucks to our trailer in my scoop. <laughs> Put me down, or I'll really get sick and you won't like it. 
I've got something else for you to carry, Digger. These will be perfect for our trailer. Catch! Stay handy. Toss me some, too. Here you go, Chuck. Sound like you feel good. Yeah, first you sneezed and now you're coughing. I'm fine. And now you're sniffling. That wasn't a sniffle. That was that was me smelling something. Something we could put all our supplies on. Look. Sweet. That'll be perfect. You know, Chuck, if you're not feeling well, you should probably go home and rest. Who said I wasn't feeling well? <coughs> uh, uh, I was just guessing? Well, you guessed wrong. I feel terrific, and I don't want to miss a minute of getting our trailer together. Okay, we've got everything. Now what? Now that we've got it all organized, it's time to load up the flatbed. Let's start by... Uh, uh, achoo! I think our doctor's trailer could use a doctor. Chuck, I think you're getting sick. I am not. I feel totally fine. Nothing's wrong. Huh? I said I feel totally fine. Nothing's wrong. I think Chuck's lost his voice. Chuck, have you lost your voice? <coughs> I'm fine. No, let's... I don't think you're going to be doing anything but going home to rest, Mr. Machine. Between your stuffy hose and your clogged pipes, I'd say you're definitely sick. What makes you say that, Mom? Honey, we heard you sneezing, coughing, and sniffling all the way down at the diner. You scared poor Gunter out of his shock absorbers. Sorry, Gunter. Of course you were just surprised. Not scared. Mom, I'm not... <coughs> I'm not sick. There's just a lot of dust around, and there is st something stuck in my... <coughs> I know, honey. You don't want to miss out on any of the fun, but it's more important for you to get well. Besides, you don't want to get your friends sick, do you? Don't get me sick. It makes my headlights red and my radiator all trippy. It's almost time for us to go home anyway. We'll finish putting the trailer together tomorrow while you're getting better. If you're still sick when we get done, maybe we can come and take care of you. <laughs> you can be our first patient. But I don't want to be the first patient. I promise you, I'm not. Achoo! We'll see you whenever you feel better, Chuck. Don't hurry. Now you just try to rest, Chuck. You'll feel better before you know it. But I want to feel <coughs> I want to feel better now, so I can. Uh, 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 choo. Very good, honey. You remember to turn away from people when you sneeze. <sighs> Getting sick is one of those things that happens to everybody, Chuck. It's part of life. Doesn't make sense that the fastest way to get better is to slow down and do nothing. Well, that's how it works, Mr. Machine. Just relax, and I'll check on you in a bit. <sighs> <coughs> oh, man. It's not fair. My friends are going to finish the trailer, and I wouldn't have done anything to help. And I don't feel that bad. But there's no way Mom will let me out tomorrow. So I'll just have to go out and do my part to help tonight. Okay, the first thing I need to do is <coughs> get these supplies together. Don't understand why I'm not sleepy, but <coughs> I'm so tired. Phew. I thought this was gonna be fun, 
but I'm not having fun at all. Oh no! Oh no! Huh? What? What are you doing out here? I'm sorry. I just didn't want... <coughs> didn't want... I don't feel so good. <coughs> Honey, when you're sick and you keep trying to do things like you're well, you can actually make yourself even sicker for longer. I think bed might be a good idea, don't you? Yeah, I'm really... Achoo! Sorry. It's okay, Gunther. We've got everything under control. You can go back to bed. We've really missed you these last few days, Chuck. I've gotten three new sound systems I can't wait to show you. I've missed you too, but Mom says I should be able to go back out and play tomorrow. Muy bueno! I'm just sorry I missed out on the fun of putting our trailer together, and that I made it harder for you to do it after I tried doing it myself. Don't worry, Chuck. Now that it's finished, we'll all have plenty of fun together helping sick trucks. And you did help. You had the idea in the first place. I guess I did. Boy, I'm really looking forward to getting back out there and playing with you guys. Hmm. I'm not sure you're ready. What do you think, doctors? See, si, I think we better be sure he's healthy, Dr. Handy. We don't want him getting sicker, Dr. Digger. I agree completely, Dr. Soku. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Does it hurt here? <laughs> How hey, here? Cut it out! today, but overnight clouds will roll in. Get ready for a big snowstorm just in time for Christmas. Power and pickups! They're here! The Christmas gifts for my friends! A cool racing spoiler for Boomer, for Handy, he's racing tires, and for Soku, some racing stickers. Those seem like great gifts for someone who loves racing. Someone like you, maybe? Well, I do love them, so why wouldn't my friends love them, too? Chuck, just because you love racing doesn't mean that your friends would want racing gifts. Giving presents is about thinking of others. <sighs> You're right, Mom. I guess I really didn't think about what my friends would want. Is it too late to get them new gifts? Well, if you can decide on new gifts by tonight, I can order them and the delivery truck will bring them by tomorrow morning. Right on turbochargers! I'm gonna go find out what my friends really want for Christmas. Bye, Mom. <laughs> well, hello there, Mr. Soku. Mr. Boomer, I'm on my way to work. Hey, guys, I have a question for you. What would you like for... Oh, hello, Mr. Chuck. We're pretending that we're grown-ups. Are you on your way to work, too? Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, yes, Mr. Soku. I'm on my way to my job as a racing truck. <laughs> In fact... I'm developing a new racing style. That sounds very interesting, Mr. Chuck. Uh, tell us about your new style. Well, it's a new way of winning races. Something nobody's ever done before. With a crowd of trucks in front of Chuck, there's no way he can pass them all. What will he do? I think you'd be allowed to win that way, Chuck. Maybe not, but it would surprise everyone. 
they'd all think I was just a racing truck. And then, boom! I'd show them I'm a lot more. A drilling truck, too. Well, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a movie star. Watch. You ride with me, pal. And you're riding in the fast lane. What do you think, huh? I can act both action and comedy. <laughs> well, I want to be an architect when I grow up. That means I draw new buildings so construction trucks would know how to make them. I can't wait for us to grow up and become movie stars and architects and racers and... Hey, Boomer, you haven't said what you want to be when you get older. Uh, you don't want to hear mine. Sure we do. Yeah. Come on, Boomer. Okay, well, I'd kind of like to be a snowplow. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Good one, Boomer. Seriously, Boomer, what do you want to be when you grow up? I, uh, well, I guess I don't know yet. Oh, wow, it's getting late. I'd better be going home. Boomer? Boomer! Hey, Boomer, you left before I could ask you a question. I'm getting everyone a Christmas gift. So what would you like? Go ahead, anything you want. <sighs> Can you make me into a snowplow? Gee, I was kind of thinking you'd ask for a ball or something. So you really do want to be a snowplow. I guess it sounds funny, but I know I could be a snowplow, Chuck. I've watched other plows, studied them. I know I could do the job. I would move big piles of heavy snow and it would help other trucks keep safe on the roads. I didn't realize how much it meant to you, buddy. I'm sorry I laughed. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe I can make you a snowplow. Power and pickups, I've got an idea. Okay, Boomer, give it a try. Here it goes. Cleared the road. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. This plow is the best Christmas present ever. I'm going to go show Handy and Soku. How about that? He loved that plow because it was something he really wanted. Something perfect for him. Power and pickups. I think I know what to get my other friends for Christmas. Gotta get home and tell Mom. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, guys, what do you think? That's great, Boomer. Terrific snowplow costume. Costume? Uh, no, no, it's not a costume. It's a real plow. Chuck, help me make it. Watch. See? Oh. Oh. Ouch. Whoa. Careful, Boomer. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. I guess fire trucks aren't supposed to have snowplow blades on them. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not meant to be a snowplow. <sighs> Just a fire truck. So, what do you think of my gift ideas, Mom? I think your friends will be thrilled. I'll call the delivery truck to bring them tomorrow, just in time for Christmas. I can't wait! This is going to be the best Christmas ever! <laughs> Well, look at all this snow. It's a white Christmas. Maybe too much snow. Chuck, I'm afraid the delivery truck won't be able to get through in this. But what about the perfect gifts I ordered for my friends? Chuck! Handy, you drove here through all that snow? B -b Barely. The roads are really snowy. I almost got stuck twice. But I wanted to give you something. Merry Christmas! Wow, Handy! Racing stickers! That's exactly what I wanted! Thanks! I ordered you something too, but... <sighs> but I don't know if it'll get here through all the snow. Sorry, Chuck. I just got off the radio with the delivery truck and the roads to the truck stop aren't cleared. In fact, he said that nobody should be out there. It's just too dangerous. Soku? What is it? I was driving over here with your gift, but the snow got too deep and... <sighs> I'm stuck on the ice! 
That snowdrift is too deep for us to get him out of there. And the regular snowplow is busy on the other roads. It's going to be a while before he can help. So, who's going to help Soku? I know who. So what do you think, Boomer? Can you do it? I don't know, Chuck. When I tried to plow for Soku and Handy yesterday, I wasn't so good at it. I don't think I'm supposed to be a snowplow. But we need you, Boomer. Can you at least try again? I'm not sure, Chuck. I... Boomer? Boomer! All the snow must be affecting the radio. We can't let Soku sit out there. We've got to do something. There! Handy, attach this piece of wood to my bumper. I watched Boomer yesterday. I think all you have to do is... <sighs> it's no use. I haven't studied and practiced plowing snow like Boomer has. Chuck, are you guys coming? Snowplow Boomer, a good one. I've got one more job for you, Boomer, if you're up for it. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks, Boomer. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to deliver these Christmas gifts. You got a real future as a snowplow. Ah, oh, gee, thanks. Come on, everybody, open your gift. A sketchbook and a mechanical pencil. Just like a real architect. And a new side view mirror for Soku, so he can make sure he's always looking good when he's getting ready to be in a movie. Thanks, Chuck. You ride with me, pal. <laughs> and I even got something else for you, Boomer. Open it. <gasps> wow! A real life plow blade. Thanks, Chuck. I'm just glad my friends can see I'm more than just what I look like. That's the best Christmas present of all. <laughs> Give me a mountain to climb and watch me do it. Yeah. Any day, any time, you know I'm up to it. I got what it takes to come through. Cause there's nothing I can't do. Gonna make all my dreams come true. better. Now then, what did you say, Chuck? I said, what's all that noise, Mom? Everybody's getting their horns in tip-top shape for New Year's Eve, Honey Bumper. What's New Year's Eve? It's when the old year ends and the new year begins. That happens tonight at midnight. And trucks celebrate the occasion by making lots of noise. Will anything change when the new year starts? Well, I suppose a new year brings many changes when it arrives. In a way, Everything changes. Really? Whoa. Can I stay up late to see the new year begin? Can I? Can I please? It's just a tick of the clock, Chuck. Dad, I just have to see it. It's awfully late. I'm not so sure a little truck like you will be able to stay awake long enough. I swear 
I can make it. And I promise I won't be grumpy the next day. And I'll take a nap. And... <laughs> all right, all right. Because it's a special occasion. Thanks. Wait till I tell the guys about New Year's Eve. Yippee! <laughs> the whole world is going to change when the New Year arrives? Ay, caramba. No wonder you told us to get permission to stay up late and have a sleepover. Is everything going to change in a good way? I think so, Boomer. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that everything is going to change color and look all shiny and sparkly and new. All when the clock strikes midnight. This is going to be so great. <laughs> yeah. I always wondered if magic and stuff happened after we went to sleep. Me too. Now for once, Digger, we'll get to see it. Not only will we see it become a new day, we'll also see it become a new year. All right. <laughs> Let's celebrate by seeing who can win the last race of the old year. Yeah! When the clock is 12, everything will change. Will it be fun and cool, exciting and strange? We can't wait to see the stuff we've never seen before. We'll meet the New Year's wide awake and with an engine roar. It will all be fresh and new. a lot of racing we did. Oh, I'm totally beat. <sighs> Me too. Oh no, look how tired we are. What if we fall asleep early and miss the new year? That would be seriously no bueno. I want to see the new year change everything. Yeah, and I want to prove I can stay up till midnight like a big truck. Maybe we should all take an afternoon nap to get ready for tonight. <laughs> Rowdy, you take a nap every <laughs> afternoon, amigo. <laughs> no nap. We might accidentally sleep right through the whole night. How can we make totally sure we'll stay up till midnight? <gasps> Red on turbochargers! I think I have a plan to keep us awake. Follow me. Yippee! <laughs> we'll need lots of these parts. Okay, Chuck. Why? Because we're going to work together and build stuff that will help keep us awake for New Year's Eve. Wow, what a great idea. Last one to finish his waker up or is a big flat tire. Oh, yeah! Okay, guys, what have you come up with? We call it the Un-Asleeper. We figured that if we can keep our wheels moving, we can't fall asleep. <laughs> That's awesome. I call this the face splasher. If I fall asleep and it hears me snoring, it'll splash me in the face with water and wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> Too cool. Check out what I made. I built this awake elizer. If I fall asleep, it will give me a quick burst of speed and wake me up. These cool inventions should keep us awake until midnight for sure. Bumpers up. <laughs> <laughs> Friends for the long haul! Ay, ay, ay. Is it midnight yet? It feels like I've been up for three days. And six nights. Guys, we've got to stay awake. The new year is coming, and we've got to see everything change. Digger, Rowdy, if you're sleepy, you'd better get on your unasleeper machine right now. <laughs> okay. I'm awake. How are my night riders doing? Anybody sleepy yet? Thanks to our inventions, we're doing totally great, Mom. We'll be awaker than awake at midnight for sure. You know, it's not a terrible thing if you decide you want to go to bed. No way, Mom. I said I'm going to stay up to see the new year, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, you're certainly trying hard. There's no denying that. I'll be back to check on you later. Hey, hey! No sleeping! New Year's is 
coming. New Year's right. Okay. Whoever's splashing me, I really wish they'd stop. Oh right, I'm splashing myself. Never mind. We need to do more than just move around. We need to talk. That'll help keep us awake too. So, what do you guys think will happen when the clock hits midnight? Well, I think the moon will become red with green polka dots. That'd be amazing. What about you guys? Uh, maybe the clouds will become piñatas, but instead of rain coming out of them, there'll be spark plugs. <laughs> and there'll be pillows everywhere. Big, fluffy pillows. Boomer, are you okay? I think the moon will become red with green polka dots. Did I already say that? <gasps> no, no! Come on, guys, wake up! Boomer! Boomer! Someone's got to stay awake with me! Rowdy? Digger? Looks like your pals have hit empty, Honey Bumper. How are you doing, Chuck? Great. I'm not going to miss the new year. I said I'm going to make it, and I will no matter what. I've been ooh, dreaming of this. Hmm, dreaming. No, no dreaming. Not for me. I'm staying awake. Awake Eliza on. Midnight, Mom. I guess you might. I guess you might. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. Ooh, stay awake. I can't believe he almost made it. He's got a motor that never wants to quit. But it looks like it's time to park him for the night. Huh? What's going on? Congratulations, Honey Bumper. You're officially awake at midnight, and now it's the new year. You made it, son. But, but, the sky doesn't sparkle, the moon is the same color, and nothing has changed. This new year looks just like the old one. We told you it was just a tick of the clock, Chuck. New Year's is a chance for everyone to celebrate what they did in the past and to get excited about what they're going to do in the future. But if you're looking for something that's different from last year, how about this? You've just experienced your first New Year's with us, and you kept a promise you made to yourself to see it. I guess I did, didn't I? Boy, did you. You found all sorts of creative ways to keep that promise. That kind of determination shows us how much you've grown up. That's what's changed. And now you can get some sleep. I bet you're ready, huh? Chuck? <laughs> Happy New Year, Chuck. <laughs>